uh, good morning students today we will study about the dc load line and q point of a transistor these two parameters are very important regarding to the uh, application of transistor as we know that transistor is uh, uh, used for a, as an amplifier so to get the proper amplification signal proper amplifying uh, amplifying signal uh, we should know about the dc load line and the q point so uh, first uh, to show the dc load line or q point uh, we should know what is the uh, faithful amplification we should know what is the uh, faithful what is the faithful amplification we should know what is the faithful amplification so uh to get the faithful amplification amplification what is the faithful amplification as we know that uh, amplifier we, we provide the signal at the input of amplifier and the signal will be in this form this is the input signal which is given at the input of amplifier and the output of the signal in this way then we will get the faithful amplification because uh, the size of the signal should be different in faithful amplification the size of the signal should be different but shape of shape of the signal should not be changed so that we can see that the input uh, size, shape of the input and output is same but the size is different because here we have uh, uh, find out the signal here we have find out the signal of a uh, a uh, greater amplitude in comparison to the in comparison to the input signal we have find out the signal of a greater amplitude so we can see here we can see that uh, Uh, we will get the output so the amp uh, amplitude of the signal is enhanced or increased but the shape of the signal is same but if the input is given in this form and we will get the output we will get uh, we will get the output in this form in this form then this is the different output as the input input the shape of the input and output are mismatch then we can say that this is a unfaithful unfaithful amplification and this is the faithful this is the faithful and so this is the unfaithful amplification this is the faithful amplification so generally desirable uh, uh, output of the amplifier is faithful amplification so to get the faithful amplification uh, to get the faithful amplification uh, we should uh, know uh, it is necessary condition that the q point that the q point Q point Q 
uh, q point should be fixed at the load line so we should know about the q point and dc load line so dc load line is nothing it is the uh, straight line on the output characteristics of a transistor so generally uh, we know that the uh, equation equation of the output characteristic of the transistor can be given as vce is equal to vcc minus icrc this is the equation of a transistor this is the equation of a transistor in the output junction of common emitter transistor so and if we draw the output characteristic of a transistor the output characteristic should be this is uh, i c and this is v c so output characteristic of the transistor is between the i c and v c and d c load line is the straight line on the output characteristic of a transistor so we have to draw the straight line on this output characteristic of the transistor what to draw the straight line at the output uh, character of the transistor we should know the two points we know that if we know the two points uh, we should know we, we have the two points uh, we should not if we have the two points uh, such like uh, we are the, so we should not if we have two points so if we have two points if we have two points this is point 1 and this is point 2 this is point a and this is point b if we know the two point then we can draw the straight lines then we can draw the straight line so to get the straight line on the output characteristics uh, we uh, find out the two points on uh, this straight line so as we know that this is the equation at the output junction and vc represented the x axis it is represented the x axis and uh, ic represented the y axis so first if vc equal to 0 if we put vc is equal to 0 x axis ki value ko yadi hum 0 rakh de then we can value of find out the ic is equal to uh, vcc upon rc so first either here we have find out One point at uh, i by axis whose value is uh, v c c upon r c. Now we have to find out the second point on x axis. So if uh, if i c equal to zero, then uh, v c e equal to v c c. so we have find out uh, another point on the x axis whose value is vcc so we have to find out these points and now by making these two points we will get the straight line uh, on the output characteristics and this straight line is known as the uh, dc load line dc load line so dc load line is nothing uh, it is the straight line on the output characteristics of a uh, transistor so dc load line generally represents the dc values of the current and voltage at the output characteristics so and uh, the q point and what now we talk about the q point so q point will be lies on this dc load line any so all anywhere q point can lie anywhere on this straight line here this will be the q point this will be the q point this will be the, here it should be the q point so at, at this straight line any point
can represent the q point but to get the faithful amplification the q point should be fixed at the center of the load line it is the necessary condition uh, to get the faithful amplification that the q point should be lies at the center of the load line so what is the q point q point is the zero signal value of uh, zero signal value of vc and ic zero signal value of vc and ic is known as the q point op and this is also known as operating point and this is also known as q send point which is means the uh, silent point so q point is uh, the zero signal value of vc and ic at the load line is known as the q point and q point is also known as operating point or the silent point and to get the faithful amplification the q point should be fixed at the center of the load line it should not move towards the it should not move towards the it should not move towards the uh, this is the saturation region here this region is the saturation region of transistor this is the saturation region of transistor and this is the cut off region of transistor this region is the cut off region of transistor and this is the saturation region of transistor so q point should not move towards the uh, cut off region of transistor and so it should not move towards the saturation region of the transistor it should be fixed at the center of the load line to get the faithful amplification so in next class now in next class we will study ki what happens if the q point is move towards the cut off point or towards the saturation point then how we can say that we cannot get the faithful amplification now our class is over so for any questions you can write your comments on the uh, chat box and then i will give the answers of your questions okay thank you